Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Today we've got a video for you on how much hash souls per second is needed to solo mine Zcash. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel focused on pool testing, overclock setting testing, miner program testing, as well as we did build a remote garden location specifically meant uh, to show you everything needed with heat removal as well as electric updates as we scale up. Um, we do have currently two Z9 minis hashing away solo mining on Zcash. Um, the reason that we went ahead and tried Zcash to solo mine was when we were on ProHashing.com um, on the profit switching algorithm there um, with one of our Z9 minis we notice here we did actually find a Zcash block um, you know at the time I didn't really think anything because I didn't get the full payout um, but after looking at things one Z9 mini found all of these different blocks as it was switching from time to time so I thought why couldn't it find its own blocks so you can see here we currently have two Z9 minis solo mining over at twominers.com solo mining Zcash. I do like to use two crypto calculator when I'm trying to solo mine. Nice thing here is you can punch in your different hash rates and it's going to give you your estimated block um, time as well as the estimated block reward. And all my numbers here are estimates guys just so you guys know. I do also like to use mining pool stats.stream when I'm trying to figure out what pools to use. Um, also when I'm trying to figure out when I want to rent my hash we did rent hash from Mining Rig Rentals. Um, I've used them before for other projects. Um, it's a place I've got no problem using. Um, they're great. Here you can see all sorts of different rigs that you're going to be able to rent over there. Um, one of my favorite pages is back here towards the end, and this is where you can rent 20 million souls per second. You know, one Z9 Mini is 14 K, 14,000 souls. So just think about that for a second. We're going to break things down here for you. Um, we did also use ASIC minor value um, for some of our estimates here. Um, currently, you can see the hash rate 13 million souls per second over there on twominers.com. In the description down below, we're going to have links to all sorts of this stuff here for you guys. Um, but let's get started. So one Z9 Mini here, breaking it down for you. It's got your estimate cost, shows you your electric, everything like that. Um, once again, why did I start solo mining Zcash? Um, when I was on ProHashing.com with my one Z9 Mini on the profit switching algo, um, we did hit a Zcash box. So I figured why not solo mine it and let's see what happens. Well, we first started running 29 Z9 Minis. And you can see here, estimate 20 days um, to find a block there. The bottom number is the estimated time. Um, so the top, top one is estimate to find blocks at the time of the test. The bottom one was estimate time to find blocks um, when we were putting this video together. So as you can see, um, these numbers changes so that's why we do estimates for all of this stuff do I recommend solo mining no um, you need some extreme hash it's it's, it's very risky um, I've seen people with more hash than I ran run for days and not find it but we had a lot of fun with this test so let's get a little farther we started out with 29 or 27 Z9 minis here's what that looks like 29 Z9 minis um, initial cost estimate was $1,099 each, so that would be $31,871. Electric per day, $27.55. Um, my rental cost, and guys, don't beat me up over these costs. I'm breaking it down. This is what it cost me to rent these. $283 uh, for 80 plus hours estimate. That was 340,000 um, souls. Here you can see um, we were hashing away with that for a little bit. Um, then all of a sudden I decided to bump it up a little bit, see where else we were at. So we did bump it up to 1.1 million souls per second, and that it did put us at the highest hash rate on the pool. Here you can see over in Mining Rig Rentals where we were doing that at. Um, we rented four more rentals um, for anywhere from five to nine plus hours. You can see up above estimated time, seven days to find a block, nine days when we were putting this together. Now you can see this is where things get dicey. 
pool all of a sudden started to pick up. I'm at 1.17. Our address is the EY5. Then you can see 13 million souls, 16 million souls, 26 million souls. Blocks are being found all over the place. But to find one block for us at 1 million plus souls, it would be seven days. And we've only got this hash rented for three plus hours, so it needs to be extremely lucky. So when we bumped up our hash, we did use some different more miners, and when you're at mining rig rentals, some of the people tell you what you're renting. So these are all estimates, guys. So we rented the Z9. Um, here's your initial cost, $3,319 at time of um, its first shipment, first batch. We also rented some Z11s. Here's your cost there. So to get 290 souls, we needed two Z11s. Cost, initial equipment cost, electric cost, my rental cost there. To get 230,000 souls, we needed four Z9s. To get 295,000 souls, we needed five Z9s. You know, five Z9s initially costs over $16,000. Those five Z9s are going to run you $15 a day plus in electric. So we're now at over, um, been at over a million souls per second for quite some time didn't find a block so I decided to step it up a notch so we did rent some more hash here you can see our block to find time here you can see we rented two million three million one million souls per second everyone that we rented hash from I did reach out to to see if we could get pictures of the rigs um, this last set sent me pictures they were actually GPU rigs they say do I believe it I don't know but we're gonna go off what they sent me so um, to be able to get the amount of hash, they were using 1080 TIs, they said. So here's our estimate there. So to get 1 million souls, that's 1,333 1080 TIs at $799 a pop new. That's estimate. So that's over 1 million. Um, it costs you $667 a day to uh, uh, power that up with your electric. It costs $66 for 4 plus hours from miningrigrentals.com. Um, we didn't, there's 2 million souls per second estimate at 1080 TIs. Here's 3 million souls. Look at all of those GPUs, guys. And this is just the estimate cost for the GPUs. This isn't power supplies, RAM, all that other stuff. But to rent 3 million souls per second estimate cost for 4 hours is $189 on miningrigrentals.com. And as far as the value cost for the rigs um, and those things, we did use for the ASICs, ASICminervalue.com. So here you can see we're at 7 million souls per second. Well, this one address has over 20 million souls per second, and he has found three blocks in the time that we've been hashing with this test. So he's been eating all the blocks, killing the hash rate here. You can see now our rental is done there. Things level out. We're back to about 550 souls per second. The pool is leveled out. Things have, have kind of leveled out there. Well, I still I wanted to find a block. I wanted to see where we're at. So we went ahead and we kicked it up to 10 million souls per second. Over on the left, you can see the one miner that had been running 20 million souls has found four plus blocks in this time. Well, all of a sudden, boom. Here you can see we've rented 10 million souls. Here you can see where our cost is as far as hours rented. Well, we rented 12 more Z9 minis. 1.8 million souls per second in A6 looks like this with Z11s. Your initial cost on equipment would be 25 plus grand, $57 a day. Cost us $53 for three plus hours in that rental. If we had f that 4.8 million souls per second in Z11s, we're looking at 33 of those. So there's your cost there. 3 million souls per second at Z9s would be 54 of those. Your initial cost would be 179,000 cost us $118.03 for that rental. So we found a block. We did it. It was very exciting, guys. We took all of that hash to find a block. You can see it had to survive the orphan period. But our miner, we were the wallet YE5. And at the time, we were 10 million souls per second, the highest hash rate on the pool when we found the block. Cost us estimate $1,325 um, to find that block. 
after rewards being paid, after pool fees and all of that, um, we received 9.8 Zcash for an estimate block reward of $1,089. Um, so to rent us 17.5 million souls per second to find a Zcash block, um, we were in the red on that one, $236. Now you can see here, um, there are some people that stay on the pool for quite some time. And with three Z9 minis, someone did find a block here. Just takes a little bit of luck. These people have been on the pool for quite some time. It shows their different hash rates and it shows they are finding blocks here with, you know, 600, 800 souls. You know, it doesn't take a lot to find these blocks. Here's pool hoppers, what I call. So I went around and I've just been keeping track of these guys and you can see they're coming and going renting massive amounts of, of hash. I do believe um, these these um, farms are also on profit switching algos and those types of things as well, chasing profitable coins. But some people I think are going around pool to pools, ramping them up, getting the blocks, hammering away on the next one and letting everybody clean up the mess. Here's more pool hoppers as well. I did check over on some other solo pools and you can see once again pool hoppers. It's not anything new. This happens all the time. It's an easy way to get blocks. Well, I did decide to try it again. I wanted to see if it was a fluke or not. So we did rent more hash. Here you can see for 3 point hours. 1.2 million souls per second estimate at Z11. 4.8 million souls a second at Z11. 5.6 million souls. See your cost there. Well, one of the things I found was it didn't hit. I wanted to hit a block, so we rented a little bit more. We were just about done. We bumped it back. It was to zero. We went to 5.6 souls per million souls per second. All of a sudden, boom, we drilled one. Here you can see. Luck or not, time to find block was nowhere where we should have been, but the pool was ramped, and it was ready to find one. You guys might think I'm crazy, but when a pool is ready to find a block, it's going to find one. Depend doesn't matter. So to find our second block, estimated cost was $829. That 9.8 Zcash reward um, after pool fees and such put us at $1,088 block reward estimate for $259. Um, in the green on that one, we rented 25 million souls per second, total less than six hours. Here you can see um, on the left our Z9, two Z9 minis hammering away during this. Um, and this is on the right our wallet at the end. So we've earned 19.7 Zcash during this test. Estimated total cost of all equipment rented over at Mining Rig Rentals. We'll let that sink in. $7,250,820. Once again today we've been talking with you guys about mining, solo mining Zcash. You guys want to reach us in the description down below you're going to be able to find a link over to discord um, you'll be able to talk to us directly that's over at the technicals if you want to follow us over on twitter there's going to be a link down below as well and um, that's where you're going to be able to keep up with our latest and greatest um, but once again um, today my name is wes this is not your normal miner and we've been talking with you on what it takes to solo mine a zcash block it is something that we do not estimate thank you